What's caking everybody? It's your girl Vernie and today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable llama cake. So if you're ready like I'm ready, let's get caking. For this cake, I made four 8 inch red velvet cakes and I leveled those off. I'm using the cake board that I plan on serving the cake on and I put down some parchment paper because with all the buttercream it's gonna get messy and I didn't want to risk moving the cake onto the cake board and messing it up so as you can see I am filling it with buttercream and I'm going to crumb coat it and put on a final coat it's not going to be as smooth because I'm going to cover it with more buttercream and I don't want too much buttercream on there now for the details on the face I started off with the glasses and I just took some black fondant and cut out some rectangles and then I cut out the insides to make the frames and then I'm going to take the frames and put them on some teal fondant and cut out the whole thing now for the I don't know like the glare in the sunglasses yeah I um, cut some thin strips of white fondant and I formed it into an M but the M was a little too big so I cut it so it's more like a Z <laughs> But I did that for both of the glasses and set those aside and I took a punch, a square punch and punched out some black fondant for the bridge of the glasses. Now I took some white fondant and rolled it out for the face. I'm going to place the glasses on top and cut out the face shape that I want. And then I took some teal fondant and used a punch again, an oval punch, and I formed it into the nose. And then I just rolled out some more black fondant to make the mouth. Now for the ears, I took some white gum paste because gum paste, if you don't know, it hardens more than fondant does and I want them to be able to stick up. And I just cut out my ear shapes and then I took some more of the teal fondant and I cut out the insides, I don't know what those are called, but the inside of the ear and I placed those in there and I just put some toothpicks in the bottom of those so that they can stick into the cake later. Now for the party hat, I made a template and I cut out a quarter circle shape, I guess. And then I formed that around a cone that I made and with a little water, I stuck it together and let that dry and then for the stripe I rolled out some more teal fondant and just wrapped it around now I didn't film it because I did it last minute but I got some water droplets on the party hat and it did not look good and so I took some more teal fondant and just cut out some circles to put randomly around the party hat now that all my details are done I'm going to put the face on the cake first and then take some more buttercream and just pipe out some swirls all around the cake in white buttercream
Then I colored some buttercream teal and did a swooped bang for the hair in the front and just went around the cake adding pops of color. And finally I added the party hat and the ears. And there you have it, my cute llama cake. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any cake ideas you would like me to try next, leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.